Hey, long time no see. Hey, you know what? Um, getting rid of capitalism or exploiting it for the benefit of the people, and that the people of nation actually don't use money. Everything is free, but they exploit the capitalist system. They export goods, services, technology, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. As a nation, they make, they make a lot of money. Enough to take care of our citizens. And the citizens take care of the nation by partaking in its movement forward. This justice and righteousness within its walls. Take care of the nation by creating a nation of belief and hope and faith. It will have to look good, right? A life, a life, the life, the totality is one, a life of. The human being a neighborhoods, towns, cities, states, nations, the world. If there aren't enough people in the world to believe in such, there should be enough to believe to create a nation. For we know there are people of belief, there are people of faith of hope. Yep, obviously there aren't enough because look at the state of the world. Look at the state of the people. The human being. And for every happiness you can offer, it can be countered. So at the least there's a balance, but the balance may be equal in quantity, but it can't be equal in quality. As much as something feels bad is equal to as much as something feels good. Is that what it is? The worst pain, agony, suffering, sorrow. It's a gnashing of teeth. That's deep stuff. That's deep pain. We say it's deep pain. We also say deep love. So I guess we balance them out. Thus, that's why we allow it. That's why we allow it, at least on the scale that it's currently at. The scale of death, destruction, and pain, and suffering, and agony, and sorrow. The longing and yearning. This is the truth of things. But there should be enough to create a nation. Enough by way of conversion to a more truth-based faith, belief, and religion guidance salvation the truth shows <laughs> it can be better even by way of numbers by way of quantifying the pain and suffering by way of eliminating one, it has moved it to the other side. If we deem the other side worthy. But hey, maybe we don't because we figured it the same. So you do it haphazardly or not at all or done accidentally or we do it sometimes. But we don't do it all the time to the utmost. And this is showing in truth. 
if you imbibe the truth of the power within belief. There is a way. It is a way. And there is a path of belief that takes you the way. You need to believe in it way more than it needs to believe in you. It doesn't believe in you. <laughs> it knows you. It is you by way of your existence, by way of its very thought. You are nothing but a thought in its mind. You are nothing but a thought, and you are less than a thought. For there is no mind, it is beyond mind. It is what a mind comes from. It is what speaks the word of the concept of a mind. But it's beyond that because it's beyond language, beyond words, vibrations, and movement. It is beyond that because it is a stillness, and yet it's not the stillness. Because it is that which creates all the movement. movement only exists because of it. So it is the movement and yet once again it is the ultimate stillness. And that's what truth is. Once again there should be enough to believe in the most beautiful nation. It's just by way of the very concept of imagining it is what is available. If you can't handle the truth, then we'll go to belief. And of course, I'm going to say believe in truth, and I'm going to say that the truth speaks of beliefs, mine and yours. The truth speaks them. The truth speaks to their value, what they can do, what they will do, what they have done. Without doubt. If not by conversion, then by, you know, eventually some can just follow. Just know before they have any grasp, anything. Or it must be given. I guess I always must be given. An idea, a concept. A belief. A lie. And at times truth, and there's only at times truth because not all the time truth is given. Hey! And let's stay in here. Quiet. And get them. Bite them in the ass. So, how that being said. If we didn't have the money, the capitalism, then we could just start making a new Fantastic Four right now. <laughs>